Hello and welcome to Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Look, I can figure out how the fucking stairs work. So we need to go have a chat with our uh, theater friend. And I sincerely hope that chat involves some ass beatings, because he certainly deserves it. Excuse me, ma'am, but there's no show today. Where is that manager? Who, who might I ask is looking for him? Hmm. Ah, that's him right there. W wait, ma'am, you can't just go in there. You just try and stop me. Okay, this is not a fighting area, and it doesn't look like I can rob people yet. Oh, it is a danger zone. Oh. Can't go in those doors, so I have to go over this path then. Level 14, theater backstage. So let's look for treasure. <laughs> let's play. Now then! Yeah, it's walls. Oh, wait, no, no don't want to go there yet. It's very beautiful walls, too. Or is a waltz like a song or a dance, or is it a combination of both? Let's play. Now it begins. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, have at it. My There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Yeah, I heard you. That's a waltz. Excuse me! Mr. Manager, wait right there! Agnea's going straight, Karen. Nice chest. A simple costume. Come and get me. It's my turn now. Uh, Even if I stumble, I'll get back up. That's a good philosophy. Okay. A more treasure. How much money do I have? 367,000. I seem to have recovered a, the vast majority of what I spent on the purchase the show begins. Who is that person in what the back? Is that a dancer? Trope member. Uh. uh My I still have much to learn. Yes, you do, Kari. Yes, you do. Time for saves. I don't need none of that. You're the one who attacked Gil and the others, aren't you? And you're their house dancer, aren't you? Have you come here looking for a real job? Nope. No, I came to talk to you. <laughs> I merely gave them what they deserved for daring to imitate my fine theater. This town has no need for two such establishments. Those patrons are mine by right. 
Anyone wishing to be entertained need look no further than where we stand. You! You regret trying to take away people's fun. There's no greater fun than can be had in these halls. Of course, the tickets may be beyond the means of the rabble. But they still have Montrain's Tavern. That's a place of hope for them. I want Gil to be able to dream again. So promise me you won't lay another finger on that tavern. I won't leave here until you do. Oh, she had a southern drawback. She pissed. How dare you speak to me like that? If you won't leave, then I will swat you like the annoying fly you are. You won't swat me. Oh, that dude Ready? looks deranged as fuck. Oh, doesn't matter. Goodbye. That's unexpected. Forgive me. My turn. Yeah. Uh, my blade saves. There's Rip. no need for flattery. It'll rust. I mean, oof, that was close fight. Just put the skin of my teeth. Jackass. Damn you! This isn't over yet! Oh, it isn't? That's quite enough. Why don't she just, like, hang out behind the curtain? <laughs> Madame Dulcinea! I was wondering what all the commotion was about. You are to leave that little tavern alone. Do you hear me? But, my lady... Have you no shame? Need I remind you who I am? I am Dulcinea Lucille, Continental Superstar. The realm rejoices when I dance. There is none who can compare to my splendor. Now then... Promise this young woman that you won't harm that tavern ever again. Because I refuse to dance at a theater owned by such a disgraceful man. What? I... I promise. Good. That settles that. Tolchinea. <laughs> that dress and hairpin are lovely, dear. It's my dream to be a star, just like you. Is that so? Then there is one thing you should know. The path to stardom is laden with thorns, little dancer. Cryptic. Kid, we were all worried, so we came to find you. Thank you, all of you. The tavern should be safe from now on. Dojanea made that manager promise not to hurt you guys anymore. Dolcinea did that for us? I'm sorry, kid. You had to go in all alone? Well, I, I didn't exactly wait Don't for you. Don't fret about it. How's your face? It'll take more than that to do me in. And my partner's alive and well, too. Uh, your partner? He means his flat piano. Not flashlight, piano. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's still got some life in it yet. And then let's celebrate.
celebrate. We can put on another show here. Um. Is something wrong? You can't stay in a place like this, kid. There's a whole world out there that could use cheer like yours. Gil... From here on out, all of us here will be putting on shows together. We'll try to bring whatever little hope we can to this town. Thank you. That's our line. You helped us remember something important. Gil? Take this. As a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Gil. That was a beautiful song. Lovely Thank you, kid. It's been hot. It's kind of creepy. Thanks, kid. It's been hot. Oh, okay. Don't be a stranger, Agnea. Yeah, come dance at the tavern anytime. Thank you, everyone. I want you to have this, kid, as a parting gift. Sheet music? I call it Song of Hope. Play Freebird. It's the song we played the other night. I know it's not much, but I hope you get some use out of it. Are you sure, Gil? Song... It's the least I can give you after all you gave us. Thank you so much, Gil. This song really is beautiful. I can feel the hope in every note. You truly are amazing, Gil. It's just the notes, unfortunately. The words wouldn't come to me. Would you mind if I wrote them? I think I might find some words as I go on my journey. I hope you do. I'd love to hear it when it's finished. Say, kid, what did you feel when coming to this town? I felt... Fuck, um... First rise again. I want to put those feelings into the song. I'd like to experience all sorts of things on this journey and turn them into music. And I want to sing and dance to this song and bring smiles to everyone's faces. I know you can do it, kid. You're going to be a star someday. Thank you. I could say the same to you. That was rather uplifting. I do enjoy that Agnia went straight Karen is like, I need to talk to this manager immediately. In the metropolis of New Delsta, Agnia is dazzled by who she meets on the stage, a cotton superstar who shines bright. In a rundown tavern, a pianist with humble dreams of happiness. The bright light of the city illuminates her path. She continues her journey with a single sheet of music in hand. Oh my. Meanwhile. Why were you so kind to that dancer, Madame Dulcinea? Kind? Perish the thought. That tavern is no threat to me. 
More importantly, are things proceeding according to plan? Yes, my lady. <laughs> Music to my ears. Well, um, maybe she's not a nice person after all. Gene. Uh, the Crossfest Warrior and Dancer Part 1. Oh. Nice, oh, travel manner. It struck me as odd when Master Gil called you called your moves. Hot. I'm not well versed in dances, but I find myself quite fond of yours. When I watch you perform, I feel a warmth in my chest. That's where it should stay, sir. Is that what makes Master Gil Is that what Master Gil means when he says hot? Er, I think it's just something Gil likes to say. Perhaps, but I can't understand why he is so attached to the word. Agnia, your dances are hot. Here you say that makes my cheeks feel hot. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, alright. Fucking jailbait flow. Alright, excellent. Um, chapter 3 for Agni is out Beastlands. What do we have going on here? Oswald Chapter 2. Chet is there as well. Scent of Commerce. Cross pass. Let's recommend eight. Uh, I do want to go back to her hometown real quick. No, it's not there. It's here. Cropdale, yeah. Because I do remember there's like a beastling in the back here that I do want to fight. Briefly. Also, what is this dude's deal? Still don't have whatever that is. Out of the way, nerd. Squall of arrows raise your is pretty damn on your guard. Prepare yourself. My blade sings. Now it begins. My blade sings. Here I fight for what is this? Ten left to Shit, that's probably not good. Uh, Squall of arrows is now not doing it as much as I remember it. Here I come. My blood sings. My turn. I need this. Here I come. My blood sings. Now it begins. I'll end here. I'm sorry. Here I come. My blood sings. There we go. I still have much to learn. And I absolutely you still have want to take over at least three to five bow attack on all foes. That's really good. Let's take that over here. Let's leave it off, lady. Alright, cool. That's all I wanted there. What time are we at? Oh, we're under 20 minutes. Dare I? Yeah, let's see if we can hustle through this. During a quiet night, Ryu and Agnia have a chat. Uh, hey, hey, Ikari, you hear that? What a pleasant sound. I could listen to it all day. That's a lute, an instrument well loved in Ku. It's been too long since I've heard the melodies of a lute in the air. Far and wide, people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. 
They call me Yomi of a thousand tones. Wow, what a name! I've traveled to every corner of this world, taking in my fill of its music along the way. I have a song for every occasion, every place, every person. You've piqued my interest. Let's have one then. My free bird. Gladly. Provided you have the coin, my thousand tones were mastered at great effort, after all. I, you have money, right, Hikari? <sighs> we are very rich. Eight hundred feet. Will this do? Is this enough, Lady Yomi? Of course. This shall buy you a song. One that will fit you as well as your finest kimono. However... Hmm? I require time to make ready. But return to me tomorrow eve, and you shall have what you paid for. Behind every great show is hours of preparation. I smell bullshit. Just so. Now gird your hearts, for tomorrow they shall be moved as they never have been before. With anger? Uh, wait till the following night. Anything to do with these people here? Not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, she looks much different. Welcome, welcome. My audience of two has arrived. Now, listen well and be carried away by my thousand tones. Something seems different about her, doesn't it? Yes. It appears she's already spent our payment on those fine clothes. Well, she looks very nice. You should compliment her. Alas, I must apologize, for I cannot carry you away just yet. I've come into a spot of trouble, you see. You have? Look here. The string of my loot has frayed. Without replacements, I fear... That our song will have to wait? Indeed. It is tantamount to asking a soldier to charge into battle with a broken sword. Oh, we wouldn't want that happening. If I recall, loot strings are made from the hair of a horse's tail, yes? Indeed. There is but one man nearby with the means to help, but he is not one to offer his aid lightly. He'll have no truck with a wanderer such as I. He scarcely acknowledges my existence. So I guess now, do we change it by force, or...? Reminds me of Papa. Then maybe you can help him see reason. Can I count on you? You don't need to ask. I'll see what I can do. Time for some begging. <laughs> will this work, Yomi? Oh, I believe it will. This is finer than I could have imagined. I see you too can move the hearts of others. <laughs> you might be right about that. With this, I can craft a string worthy of my skill. I feel like I'm being strung along here. However, I fear the moment is not ripe for such a performance. Pray come
come again tomorrow, and I promise that my melody shall lift you to the heavens. Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> the car is onto this bullshit. The weight will make the music sound all the sweeter. Be patient, Hikari. I feel like Agnea is gonna be the one that when she doesn't show up tomorrow, she'll be if big you mad. Insist. You're generous with the benefit of the doubt, I see. Uh, make for a hill under... What? Yeah, I was fully expecting her to not be here. We were looking for you. Do you ever stay in the same spot? My sincerest apologies for the trouble. However, I had no choice but to go where I could best drink in the beauty of tonight's moon. I hope she turns into a werewolf and then just starts fucking shredding the loot. That is rather You're lovely. right. It's enchanting. I wanted its dulcet rays to alight upon my lute as I played your song. Tonight, I perform upon a stage like no other, with string and garb equal to the occasion. All thanks to you, my most honored audience of two. I hope this is worth the trouble. It will be. I assure you. Now, listen. That was lovely. I suspect that song also alludes to that island. I've never... I've never heard such a song before. I was moved, but somehow... I feel so... so sad. <sighs> By the light of the heart, a favorite of mine. The clothes, the strings, the moon, and they must be just so. It is the only way to perform this song correctly. Miomi, why did you choose this song to play for us? I've heard it before. I had a friend who would often play the lute for me. She always struck warm tones to match the warmth in her heart. Her name was Tsuki. Uh, was? But you played the song much differently than she did. 
and painted it with melancholy. Well then, our business is concluded. I shall take my leave. Intriguing. Alright, that concludes Dance and Warrior Part 1. Alright, so I think the only chapters we have left for Chapter 1 are Casti and uh, Ochete. Ochete has like multiple paths, and so does Casti, it looks like. Well, like, all of fucking Ochet's shit is Chapter 2. There's a different level of requirements for each. There's a lot of shit going on here. Alright, um... Let's... Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the cut here. We are gonna... Kind of like a, a fucking... Like a duo, another like twofer team. Somewhere I thought. Whatever. So we're going to make a cut here, and we're going to carry on with uh, Cassidy's story. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.